So welcome to my second video in the series on Facebook groups in 2020. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to optimize your new Facebook group for search. So we're going to cover the following areas. We're going to look at creating your own URL. We're also going to show you how to link your Facebook group to your Facebook business page. My name is Anita Wong and I'm a digital marketing strategist and tech coach. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell if you would like notifications of the next time I upload a new video. So we are inside our newly created Facebook group. And the first thing we want to do is we want to set up our own unique URL. So the URL is this part of the website address at the top. So every time there is a group on Facebook, it will be facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash normally a group of numbers. But this can be a unique address with the name of your group inside it. So to find out how to do that, we need to go over to the more button and click edit group settings. Inside the edit group settings, we want to come down to where it says web address. So this is where you can customize your group's contact information so that you can quickly share your group and the link. So you go ahead and click customize address. And all it is is for you to then pop in the address. Now, obviously, if someone else is using exactly the same group name and they have that group optimized with a personalized address, then you won't be able to use that. So it's really important that you use a unique group name or a group name that's unique to your brand or your messaging. So we're going to just pop in here test groups and it might not be available because obviously yeah, you see, so now it's saying that this alias is already assigned, so please try another one. So I'm just going to pop my name at the end as well. So now what I've done is I've created facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash test groups Anita Wong. So this is my unique URL. This is the URL that I will copy and share to promote my group everywhere I want it to go. Once you're happy with this name, you go ahead and click customize address. Facebook will do its stuff and it will create the address for you. Go down and press save. Okay, so just go ahead and click discussion and you might need to refresh your page a couple of times so that um, Facebook catches up with your new web address. And then once you've done that up the top here, you can see that my new Facebook address now is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash test groups Anita Wong. So this is just a address that you can now use to share to all and everyone that you would like to invite to your group or when you are promoting your group across your social media channels. And this doesn't have to be just in Facebook. You can use this link across any social media platform to share your group. So the next part of this video is how to link your group to your Facebook business page. So this is a really good way of promoting your group inside your Facebook business page without really doing anything. So to do this, you need to come down here to the discussion part of your page and go to the more section. Go to edit group settings again and scroll down until it shows you the bit where it says link your pages. So you go ahead and click link out, link your page and it will ask you to select your page. So we're gonna go ahead and select my Anita Wong Digital Strategist page. Your page will be able to manage your group and create posts. The group will also be listed on your page. Go ahead and press that. So what that means is that when you are interacting in your group, you can also do that as yourself. Once you've pressed the link button, you go ahead and click done. What this means is that now your group will be visible on your page as well. But it also means that you'll be able to interact inside your group as your page and your profile. Now, I would suggest that you carry on interacting in your group as your profile, because as your profile, it's more personalized and you're going to get more engagement as a person than you would as your page. But we've only linked your group to your page so that your group gets more exposure inside your page. So we're going to jump over to my page and I'll show you what I mean. So we go here to my page. And over on my page, I have my tab set 
with groups. So when I click on my groups tab, here you can see my test group is listed at the top. This enables me to share it from my page. It also enables me to invite people who liked my Facebook page to the group, but it also means that it's a shortcut for those people on my page to find my group. So when I click on test group tab, it comes up and opens up my Facebook group straight away. So just to go over in this video, we covered how to optimize your Facebook group's URL, how to link your Facebook group to your Facebook business page. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, please don't forget to ask them in the comments below. If you've liked this video, please give me the thumbs up. And don't forget, if you haven't subscribed already, to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so that you get notifications when I upload another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.